that's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. Um, it's been a few days since I got to talk to you. Chris is back home. It really, really makes a big difference in my time and just not being by myself. And so I don't feel as, um, it just, it's different. So um, he's left and went <laughs> into the bedroom and shut the door so I can do a Bible study. Um, I am going to read Psalm uh, 11 this morning. Um, it is about uh, faith in the Lord's righteousness. And um, it is good to see everybody this morning. I know it has been a while. Um, I'm kind of in a weird spirit, so I think we'll pray real quick, and then we're going to read our Bible, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. I pray that you would be with all of us and help us learn and gain something from your word this morning. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Okay, um, I was going to see if she, she don't really talk about this one um, at the bottom of the Bible, and I'm sure there's something in my study Bible, um, but I actually don't have it up here today, um, so we won't do that either. But uh, Psalm 11, faith in the Lord's righteousness to, achieve, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. Um, in the Lord I will put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? And that's the question. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string, that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence, his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals, fire and brimstone, and a burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteousness. His countenance beholds the upright. And this is the end of the psalm. So it's pretty much um, talking about the Lord's righteousness, letting us know that the Lord likes righteous people and what he does to the wicked. Okay, so it should encourage you to be righteous and not wicked <laughs> because who wants their cup to be a fire and brimstone um, and a burning wind. That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, that alone, that verse alone reminds me of what has happened out in California because of the, the winds and the fires. And um, it's just awful. And think about what those people have gone through. And if that shall be the wicked's... Uh, cup in their cup nobody wants that do they so and i'm not saying that for the people of california i'm just using that as an example to kind of give you an illustration of the um horror of that being what god would put in your cup for the day in other words or your cup for the year or whatever he decides to do when we uh do not follow him um I'm going to also read um, a little excerpt, you know, out of my Bible. It's called The Image of God, His Reflection in Us. And it's really good, too. This morning, uh, this morning I read it earlier. It says, but what a magnificent concept is God's creation of mankind in His image, patterned after Him, mirroring a family resemblance of Him. This does not pertain to a physical nature, but a spiritual nature and a moral nature okay so when god uh, made us in his image he wasn't talking about a physical image he was talking about a spiritual image and a moral image and that says uh, and then it says how are we like god number one we are capable of communicating and in so doing we can bless or curse um Number two, we are creative, and creativity gives us joy and satisfaction. Number three, 
We're, we experience emotions and feelings, and we long for relationship and fellowship, and we all do. Uh, that reminds me, uh, it says that we all long for a relationship and fellowship, and we do. It reminds me um, of these young people today, and um, I had a friend of mine whose daughter committed suicide. Not her daughter, but a, somebody she knew, their daughter committed suicide. And it's so sad. And she was just 16 years old. And um, it goes to show, no matter how, it doesn't matter if you're young or if you're old, we all do long for fellowship, okay? And God can help us with that and help us um, and make us feel like um, we're more content because He's always with us. And when we realize that God is always with us and we know that we can talk to Him, it is someone that we can go to and talk to and not feel so alone. And it makes a big difference. I can remember being young and going off to college. And I remember praying and having God there to lean on. And no matter what, I never felt like I was always just by myself. I always felt like I had him to talk to. And we do. Um, and so it should help us a lot. Um and then the last one says we discern between right and wrong. Okay. Um, actually, it's not the last one. There's two more. We act and are responsible for our actions. We long to pursue him. It says Mary sat at Jesus' feet listening to him. Jesus let her know that sitting at his feet was important. Even though the original intimate relationship between God and humanity was severed by the fall in Genesis with Adam and Eve, God has pursued his children down through the ages, sending his son that we might be reconciled to him and become his daughters and sons. His heirs, his image can be reflected in us. Through Christ, the image is brought back into focus so that his glory shines from that reflection. Um, so that's a real positive thing to think about this morning as we are going into Christmas. Christmas is all about Christ and how our uh, Christ's image could be shown through us to other people. So let's try to do that this Christmas season. And all, t all the time, uh, may we have... Um, his good nature uh, reflecting through us. Um, so let's see, Mary's here this morning and Sandra, and it's so good to see both of y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Um, I got a few things planned for today, so you may get a few more posts, hopefully. And um, I enjoyed the Bible study this morning. I enjoyed getting together with y'all and seeing what God had in his word for us. I pray that we take it to heart and we pick up his Bible and read his word um, each and every day. Um, let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your Psalms. We thank you for David and the examples that he has given us in his words of praise and worship. And um, may we listen to your word and let it um, resonate in our hearts so that we can be spiritually uh, in your image and your image could reflect from us to others. Um, be with our families, our friends, and our enemies today as they go throughout their day. May everyone be safe and acknowledge you as their, um, as their all in all and Christ is their Savior. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. Bye.